is hot in here. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about college. You know, the place that has the power to send you into crippling debt or give you a better chance at getting a job with nothing in between. Yeah, mm -hmm, that place. It is that wonderful time of the year again where we are all going back to school or are currently back in school. Today was my first day and I already want to quit. Is that bad? I think it is. And like the only good thing about it still being summer outside is that it is hot enough to dry my tears when I step outside now. So without further ado, let's just jump in. This is why I hate college just a little bit. First of all, it's almost like the professors want you to fail. Like what the hell is up with that? Very first thing that I gave my introduction to my three classes is two of them saying, this is a very hard course, and if you do not study for 15 hours a week, then you will fail. They sounded proud of that when they said it. Like, oh yeah, you know, my course is just so hard and we have a 90% fail rate, but the other 10% do great. Like, honey, that is not anything to be proud of. Like, you should be ashamed of yourself for letting all those kids fail because you want to have a difficult course and don't want to teach where they did. Nope. Like, seriously, I get it. Anatomy is not a walk in the park. Neither is chemistry, neither is math. However, it should not have a high fail rate. Like, you as a teacher should be able to help your students. Like, yes, there are a lot of students. However, that is your part of your job, okay? You understand me? You are teaching us so we can pass and get through this together. And you're not. You're setting us up for failure. Why are you doing that? Second of all, this pandemic has made it so much worse. Not only are all classes online, they are making you download a bunch of software so that they can like tell that you're not cheating. And it's just like, look, honey, if you taught your class well, we wouldn't have to cheat in the first place. And it's just like online is that subtle phrase of like, screw you, you're on your own, dude. Seriously, instead of making sure that I have the resources to pass online classes, the one advice that I have in one of my syllabuses or syllabi, whatever, it says in the syllabus that if you do better with in-person classes, wait for the pandemic to be over to enroll. It's like, what are we supposed to do? We are all trying to get on track with our lives and like do other stuff besides work and retail and fast food and stuff. And then you want us to wait until a pandemic's over? Like that is putting everyone's life on hold. That's putting some people in some dangerous situation because they cannot get out and get their degree and get moving with what they want to do with their life. You are putting them in a dangerous situation. I understand that this pandemic's going on, but at the same time, you cannot force people to put their education on hold. And it's just like at that, if it has to be online, which obviously, it does you don't make it harder for people to access it like there are some people who cannot afford webcams there are some people who don't have a computer that will handle all the software that we have to download now like and that is not fair for people who cannot afford it but hey this is america what you gonna do about it speaking of everything being online canvas canvas freaking sucks i do not know how many times that site has crashed on me just from today with me trying to do like basic stuff like the syllabus quiz and like oh tell me what you're doing for work and like blah 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 all your hours and stuff like it crashes so much it does not do well with anything but google chrome i have an hp which means that i do not have anything except for microsoft edge okay and canvas does not do good with microsoft edge what do they want you to do they want you to download google chrome guess what i can't i don't know how to change my website to that it's just like microsoft made it to where you cannot get rid of Microsoft Edge. So what am I supposed to do about it? I just have to go with it. I have to let the site crash and I have to do it all over again. And that is the most frustrating thing ever. Number three, speaking of that 45 hours a week thing for your classes. Yeah. If you have a job, sorry about that. You're just going to have to figure it out. Forget your social life, forget your work, forget your dog, forget your mama. You dedicated to school now. You a college student. Okay. Which means that all your time, all your effort, all your resources goes to them. Forget sleep forget about eating you are theirs now you belong to the student life it's gonna make you cry like the 45 hours are broken up into like 15 hours of school each week plus the hours that you have to study afterward in each class is that you should study for at least three hours afterwards like I do not have time for that okay I'm a part-time worker because I'm trying to put myself through college this School already took thousands of dollars out of me and I have to spend thousands of dollars more to go back next semester. Like I need to keep working so I can go back and get my stuff 
in line, okay? This is not gonna work out. Like with all this studying, if you have a professor or a teacher who does not want to help you or does not want to teach the material, they just wanna do a Zoom meeting every week to see how you're doing, and then, oh, here's the stuff that you're supposed to study and they don't wanna help you with anything, what are you supposed to do? Like, yeah, you can go to the resources, but it's just like, if you do not have the time, like me, if you are working to put yourself through college, that is not gonna be good. It's like they are literally setting you up for failure and it's just like, it makes me so mad I can't even speak right. Failure? Failure, come on! And I guess my last reason is kind of like what I said before, money. They charge out the ooh, for tuition, for books, and for what? We are basically teaching ourselves this curriculum now. It's like, I should have not had to pay thousands of dollars for this semester, okay? I should have gotten a discount for that. Everyone should have gotten a discount for this semester because it is gonna be so much harder than in-person classes. Sometimes I often wonder why I decided to go back to college. I was out. I got my two-year degree. I went to work. Oh, why did I go back? So I'm sweating like a pig in here. So I think I'm just going to end it here. And I'm going to say this. It has to pull through. Like, it has to work out. We're all going to be okay. We're all going to get our degrees and go on from this life and live so much better lives. And then we're going to look back and laugh at this. I freaking hope to God that happens. Anyway, that's going to conclude this video. If you agreed with anything I said, why not leave a like and maybe comment? Or if you didn't agree with me at all, comment down below. And if you're new here, why not subscribe and I'd love to have you around. Until then, stay safe out there, guys. Bye!